morning burrito. Have you slept well? Are you getting quite excited now? Right, I'm going to reach up to reach this envelope. There you go. And it's a manger. A place full of hay for animals to eat. What is a manger? A manger is a feeding place for animals. This one is filled with hay. The manger stops the hay falling on the floor and being trodden on by the animals. Here we see some goats in a stable who are looking hungrily at the hay, whereas here we see another manger which is outside. And here it is horses that are eating from the manger. I'm going to show you now how to make a manger. For this you're going to need a piece of thin card or thick paper. I've chosen a brown colour. And what, I, what you need to do is to draw from corner to corner a straight line. And then from corner to corner another straight line. Then take the little box like the raisin box we had the other day and you're going to position that so as far as possible the diagonal lines meet approximately the corners of the box. This makes sure the box is in the centre of the piece of paper and we're going to draw around that. There we have a box that fits inside. Next we're going to fold the paper. We're going to fold it first along this line here. Then we're going to fold it along this line here. And then we're going to fold it along the line here and along the line there. So now we have a, a box shape like that. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to cut along the line there, and there, and there, and there. And this allows fold it ends in to make a box like that, which is a kind of manger shape. Then you can hold those in place with a stapler. If at any point you feel that this height is too tall, you can then just trim both the long sides. So fold the corners in like that and staple them together. And fold the corners in the other end and again staple them. At this point you may find that the sides are slightly taller but that gives it perhaps a slightly more realistic shape. Now we need to fill the manger with some hay. For this I'm going to take some tissue paper. As before, we used I used silver, but you could use gold or yellow or white. And this time I'm going to cut a strip off that is about five centimetres wide.
Then I'm going to fold that up and cut it into strips. And these little strips are going to be the, the hay and I'm going to put them into the main bit and press them down quite well because they're very bouncy. Keep trying to jump out. Yeah. 